Hello, video friends. Another guess what's today? I have to show you. I'm getting working on it. My Timu ordered, and I'm working on my diamond art. I finished my face and the diamond art and all of this part. And over here a little. But if you look up close, you can't really see that it's me. I only look like me far away. But it's going to be fun, and I can't believe they're like $10. And this is the perfect place to work on it. And I watch TV. I put my lights here, and I'm going to finish it. It's working fast up. Not really, but I like it. So I have a small Timu order. And after this is over, I'm going to splice on what I wore, my new Timu outfit I wore Sunday. And then I'm also going to splice on our little swimmers that I got. I ordered the fish too. And it's like a dollar eighteen or something. I'll link the prices below. And so I had the uh, Macy and Credence get in the water and show them. So you can see how they swim. They're pretty cute. So, oh no, sticking to my, my picture. And so, um, you can see if you want to get them for yourself or your grandkids. I didn't try them in my bath. I only tried them in the hot tub. But I told Credence, now don't twist too much. Because, you know, there's like, I can just see that little spring twist mechanism in there breaking. And you had a choice, red and pink. I put red, and this is the color I got. It doesn't matter. And the fish comes in other colors, but I don't think you get to choose. They just send it for you, whatever color they think you would want. They got it wrong with me. I wanted the real one that looks orange, but it's okay. And I showed these shoes in my uh, try-on shoes. And I hate them. And I tried to have Hillary try them on, and she hated them. So I sent them, I'm sending them back. Well, I already did. And they said, here's your money back, $11 back. Keep the shoes. So, I don't know. I'm going to try to find an owner, a new owner for them, whoever likes them. And I tried this dress on in one of my halls. I mean, my fashion show, whenever it comes out. I think it's, it, you'll see it. But I got it from this $10, and I got it in this order. Because I don't have a, a lavender dress, but I have those darling lavender shoes and a lavender purse. And this is the same as that green, the St. Patrick's Day dress. And you know what? It is the most comfortable dress ever. Although, you know, you're going to have to pin it, sew it, or something. But the problem is... It's not very cute, but it's the most comfortable dress, a little pioneer dress. But, um, you know, if you want a comfy dress that you don't have to worry about fixing, adjusting, all that stuff, just get that. I got another hat because this one was like a little over a dollar. But look, you can fold it flat in the suitcase. I like that idea. And it came with the strap, too. And it's Velcro right here. Has a hangy thing. And then the strap connects right here and here. And it can wear with the bun. See the bun? And then if you want to look, like, pretty, you can have it like this. That looks really good to have a little different look. All right. But I think I'll just keep it like this. And if I want them to see that, I'll just put my head up high. Anyway, I wanted, I thought it would be reversible, but it's not. Now, they could have made it reversible if they would have put this as fabric. You know, cute fabric. It could have been reversible. I could sew some fabric over this. Just black fabric or one of these colors. Make it reversible myself. I'm going to do that. Here's the flowers. When I do it, I'll show you then how cute it is. Because look, you can take the pattern off easy. It's just three pieces here. Cut like that. I'm going to do it. Temu. They should have thought of everything. You could have sold it for a dollar more if it was reversible. I'm going to be taking that on my vacation. 
my next cruise. I got two of these because um, I like to be organized. I might give one to my husband downstairs for his pens and his scissors and everything, but they're really, they were 48 cents. They're really cheap. They're not hard, pla they're weird. They're not, I would call it a finished plastic. It's kind of just like a rough plastic. See the edges here? It's kind of rough right here. But it's gonna be good. You can put all your stuff in there and he'll like it. No, he won't. He hates new stuff. He will, I buy him something new. I put it where it's supposed to go by him, you know. He won't touch it for a very long time. Finally, then, after it's there about a year, he will start using it. Maybe. He still has wool warm socks because his feet are cold all the time, so I bought him warm socks. Hasn't worn them. That's two winters now he hasn't worn them. And he pulled them out the other day. Whose are these? I said, they're yours. They're your warm socks. He still won't wear them. So if you notice, it looks like I'm really self-centered when I make these Timu hauls. It's because he doesn't want to wear any of them. He doesn't, he doesn't want to change and get new. He hates new stuff. He hates too much stuff. He hates fancy stuff. He dislikes his old stuff. He would be happy just to always buy used from the used store because it would feel like it's his already. So, and this purse, I used it yesterday because it matched my outfit and I'll be modeling it after this. I love this purse. And this handle is not like the cheap handle on those other purses, although they did forget to cut the strings on this purse handle, which they forget to cut on everything. China's not good for cutting threads. They don't have a supervisor for that. Okay, so it holds everything in here really good, all my stuff, plus my two phones and a granola bar. So, nice zipper with a nice pull. It has an inside zipper, does it? No, I lied, it doesn't have any inside pockets. But I didn't need it, I just threw everything in here anyway, and it works. Now, if you want one that opens wider than this, then this isn't the purse for you, but it was adequate for me, and I liked it. I didn't use crossbody though, but it's pretty long. And you could make it. You wanna see, some people like to see how long it can be made to go. I don't know why that. I don't know why, but if you put it all the way, it will be this long. I'll stand up and show you. It'll be this long on you. Oh, I like that. You feel secure. No one's stealing my stuff. No one can pickpocket me. So if it had a, a pocket right here, you could put your, it would be better, but it didn't. What do you expect for that price? I don't remember what it was. And I got another one of these just for me because I have a gray one like this and I took it when I went to Emily's to Rock Springs and look how small it looks. It's pretty small looking, but you can put so much stuff in it. You know why? Cause it's so wide. Look at how wide the bottom is and how wide, so, so much stuff fit in here. It's short, but wide like me. It's built just like me. So, it was sturdy and good, and it has two sections, the zipper one and the slip pocket side, plus it has this zipper back here, but it's not, I don't think it's big enough for your phone, but um, I liked the gray one, but I don't like gray much. I know a lot of people, it's their favorite color nowadays. You know why I don't like it? It's the color of cement, cement. Now, when you were a child uh, walking on the cement, trying not to step on the cracks that will break your mother's back, that was cement, gray cement. It never was a favorite color. And now everybody painted their 
kitchens, their living rooms, their bedrooms, their everything is gray. It's like not really a color to me. It doesn't f make me feel joy. I did my living room. I painted a couple walls gray. I got a gray carpet. I got gray pillows, gray throws, gray, you know, and brought the gray into my room. I had purple couches then, so it looked pretty good. But I didn't like the gray. It just is cold feeling to me. Do they have a warm gray? You could either like get a gray that has a green tinge, a gray with a purple tinge, and a gray with a blue tinge in it. So be careful, because you could get the wrong tones in there that you don't want. Oh, and it does come with the strap too, the crossbody strap. But I probably won't use that because I'm kind of like an old lady and I just like to go like this and go into the store. Like my grandma. So that's going to be good. But then this was so cheap, $3 and something. I had to get it. And I ordered another one in the next order because I'm going to give it for a gift. See, now this handle is, of course, this purse is a lot cheaper, but this crossbody handle is a lot cheaper. It's shiny, kind of ribbony, whereas this one is real woven stuff, real woven threads on canvas. And this one is just like printed, thick, strong ribbon type. So you could, but see, this strap doesn't come off, which I don't care, because good, I won't lose it. This, you could change the strap. But this is a wonderful size purse. Now, the other one, I ordered a khaki one, and it has pockets on the inside, but this one doesn't. But it's just your basic black, and I like this size because it will fit my tablet, my drink, my, you know... This is for a day you're going out of town farther than just church or something. So I do like it. And I have a brown one too. And it comes in green and I have the khaki one. Because it's real fool you leather. They call it faux. I call it fool you. All right. Oh. These I ordered because... During, remember when we had to wear the masks all the time? And as soon as you put it on and you start breathing, your glasses fogged up. It did me. Maybe my breath's hotter than yours, but it did me every time. Well, these are anti-fog cleaners. Now I'm going to have to put a mask on to see if it will work. But I don't ever want to see those masks again. And when we went to the doctor... They made my husband wear one because he was coughing. That lady, the receptionist, put on a mask, you're coughing. He has COPD. It's not contagious. If it was, maybe I do have it. I do have a lot of post-nasal drip. Is COPD contagious? It's not. All right, so I'm hoping that, oh, they don't look that much cleaner. Maybe they don't clean. They just anti-fog because that just smudged the grease oh i'm not very impressed i think you have to clean them first does it say any directions it does in chinese look at all chinese directions not even any in american latin or italian no other languages just chinese oh here's something warning kind of dark uh for to avoid danger suffocation all that's talking about this little plastic bag you're not supposed to put it over your head it is not a toy we know all that all right these were dollar 48 i don't know how many you get but i would i don't recommend them i don't know they might keep the fog off but they don't clean them i want to clean it and keep the fog off all right, now, okay, this is for Ellie, my little granddaughter Ellie. Her name is not Ellie Mae, 
It's Ellie. I forgot. <laughs> no, I know it. It's Macy Ellen and Ellie Grace. Is that it? That's Emily's middle name. Ellie Grace. I don't know. We'll pretend it is. And, you know, I bought Macy these kind of pajamas, the silky satin pajamas, and she loved them, and she wore them to Ellie's when we went there. And so Ellie wanted some, and I said, I'll get you some. So I ordered these. And then I've also ordered them each the pink ones because they had to get this color because pink was out, but now they have pink in and the short legs because they're like me. In bed, you like to feel the sheets on your legs, not pajamas on your legs. I don't know why I don't like pajamas on my legs. I just get too hot or something. And I always like to put my foot out the bottom when I get hot. All right, so this is for Ellie. And hopefully, I don't know when I'll see her next. And I paid about $8. But they have them on sale for cheaper now. Five five something, the pink ones I got. And this, isn't it cute? So cute, little whistle. I think it was in this order. It's been so long ago, cause I can't remember. And to see what was all in this order. Your orders. Oh, it wasn't in this order. I still like it, though. Okay. Oh. Do it outside. Okay. And then I got another shirt for Ezra, but you've already seen it because I bought two of them exactly the same, so I have to donate that one. So, but I have two more orders coming tomorrow, and they're big ones. But a lot of it is duplicate stuff that I've already bought and I liked it. So I bought another one because if one is good, two is better. My mother never should have told me that because now that makes me want to do it all the time. But my mother was very crafty. She taught herself how to crochet, knit, paint, everything. And she loved to make cards. And she made so many cards that when she died, we all have, we'll never have to buy cards again because we all inherited them to use. They're beautiful flower cards. And then she always was busy doing some project, but it was always sitting projects, not up and about. But they had an RV. It was called the Dolphin RV. And they went down to Palm Springs in the winter and... They traveled a lot. They went to Nashville one time and they drove to lots of places, Utah a lot, where my brother lives and stuff. And so that's how they did their retirement spending. And then they would go up to Portland, Oregon too. And they were so cute. They were both shorter people. They weren't tall people. My mom was like 5'2 and my dad was five, seven, maybe. And so, and they got a little shorter the older they got, but they were the cutest cu couple, Cuddy and Mary Ellen. Married for like, as old, long as you could be married and still be alive. Cause my mother was 16 when she got married and my dad was five years older. He was in the Navy. He saw her, it was love at first sight. And then like he asked her to marry him the next day. She said, yes. <laughs> Anyway, my grandma said no. <coughs> my grandma said no. You are not marrying that guy. You don't even know him. But my mother was the only child. She did what she wanted. But anyway, she got married and they stayed married for, you know, 75 years or more. I don't remember what it was. And so 75, 85 I don't remember. I was going to add up how 16 years when she got married. And I don't remember how old she was when she died. Anyway, they were married a long, over 70 years. And they were the cutest couple. And my dad worshipped her. Have you ever watched um, Hall and It? No. Oh, what's the name of that one show? Mimi Yep one. 
anyway, her husband's on there with her. And the how the husband just worships her and does everything for her. That's how my dad was with my mother. And if she wanted something, he would get it for her. And it was the love affair, the like, you know, the wonder, most wonderful love affair ever. My dad with my mother. And so he was the one that worshipped her and did everything for her. She was like a queen, literally. And, you know, she'd have her Pepsi drink, Diet Pepsi with a little bit of real ice. And when he saw it getting low, she didn't even have to say anything. He just kept an eye on it all day and then would run in there and get her a new one, fix her a new one. And, and on TV, when she saw things on QVC, she wanted, Cuddy, order that for me. He would do it. She never took out the garbage her whole life. And my dad, one time he was going out and my dad, he didn't want to pay more for garbage. He just wanted him to pay for one garbage can. So he would get in it and stomp the garbage down. And he would laugh and laugh and say, "This is, I'm the garbage compactor. This is my garbage compactor. And he'd stomp it down. Well, when he got older, he fell. The garbage can fell over with him in it. And he kind of got hurt. His back got scraped and stuff. And so they told him, you're not allowed to take the garbage out again and stomp it like that. Well, mother goes, well, I don't know what I'm going to do because I've never taken the garbage out in my whole life. <laughs> and of course, she still didn't. But dad didn't. He wasn't allowed to stomp it anymore. He had to be more careful stomping it. No one would see him. So he would get in trouble. But he was the funniest grandpa ever, funniest dad and so attentive and he taught all of us girls that how a man should treat you we thought so then when we got married we all had a rude awakening what our husband wants us to bring him something <laughs> our husband wants that because you know my dad always waited on my mother so it's funny how you're brought up and how you makes you the person you are i didn't turn my signs on back here because it's not a very long video and i didn't want to have to turn them off again. <laughs> I want to do my diamond art. Okay, now Av, I'm going to shut this and then it's going to go to the little swimmers and then it's going to go to the Sunday outfit. So stay tuned and subscribe and put a like because I'm doing all that for you. Okay, we're going to see how these little Timu swimmers work. Okay, credence, put it in the water, wind it up and let's see if it'll go good. I'm gonna make it go far. All right. Is he going? Is he moving good? Yes. Okay. Here's the other one. Oh, she's doing good. Look. That's pretty cute. Now leave them and just see how far, how long yeah. they go, and how far they go. <laughs> and the little Mine's fish. Drowning. Okay. The fish doesn't go straight, does it? No. Okay, you gonna do it again? What? Oh yeah, we should do a race. Are you gonna do a race now? Okay, hey, do a race. Hold on. No, wait, I need a... I have to wind it up. Wind, 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 wind. Okay, that's good. I need to wind mine up. Hold. Okay, you ready? Okay, ready, go. Girl. The little girl, that's pretty cute. But she only, her arms only go backwards like that. The face is bouncing. The face is definitely not winning. Let's see how long she'll go. Is she going to get stuck? Yep. Okay, now yours. Is it winded and that's it? Okay, take it out of the water. Wind, wind, wind. <laughs> Wind, wind, wind. It comes out of the wind. There it goes. Alright. Oh, there he's going good. And then he goes one wing in it. Okay, they're pretty Can I have fishy? Look at this darling team of hers. This beautiful strap that's substantial. I love it. And what am I wearing today? I love this coat, Timu coat, with the beige. Let's go. It's time to go. Beige boots, beige purse, because the dress is beige. I'll show you. 
This is the dress I got for like $8. I had to move the button over for the sleeves. And I took it in a little bit to fit like right here. So I'm just all in beige, and then I thought, thought that this coat over it, it's a rainy, snowy, drizzly kind of day, then I'm just gonna wear this over it. And it's an outfit. Good enough for me, comfortable, pleasant. Nice buttons. I hemmed the sleeves on the coat.